Look what we have here. New, uh, a new haircut situation going on. We hired a barber. We're no longer going to to visit Caleb at the barber shop. He's just gonna come to the Yigi farm and we just get each of us to line up and get a haircut. It's working out great. So this is the second time you've done this, Caleb. It is. Plus you moved your shop to Burnett, Texas. That's kind of the real reason. But this view is a lot better than my other view. Yeah, it's not not bad. Are you still called Mad Hatters in, I am. now that you moved to Burnett? So you moved to Burnett, Texas. If if you're around Burnett, Texas, there's a brand new place called Mad Hatters. Is it up yet, currently? Next week. Next week, so Next by the time... Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, well, that's when this video is coming out, Tuesday. Grand but, opening. <laughs> yeah, but in the meantime, you know, this is Yee Yee Barbershop. The best mediocre haircuts in town. <laughs> we need a, gee, we need a sign whenever he comes, and we just put the sign up. Yee Yee Barbershop. Yeah. yeah. One day, we'll build a new building back over there somewhere. I'm still waiting to cut Earl's hair. Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't ever get a haircut. <laughs> but in the meantime, yeah, I woke up this morning, it was a little chilly, and I was like, ah, surely we're not going to be outside, but now it just feels beautiful. Amazing. So, looking good, Hayden. Thank you looking, so much. Looking great. Nice full head of hair you got there. Okay, so side note, apparently Caleb got me a housewarming gift, even though we're not in the house. You just can't wait. I can't, I can't wait. It couldn't sit in the box any longer. Okay, all right, let's see what we got. What, what is this? The shofar. So like the Israelites, the Hebrews, they would do it to sound for war. They would do it for the sighting of like the new moon. They would do it, the feast of trumpets. You know, so anytime you hear like that in scripture, like the trumpets would, would, this is a trumpet? That's, that, that was a shofar. So they would do it out of a kudu horn or a ram horn. You almost have to feather it. <laughs> it takes practice. But you would sit here and then feather your lips. But watch. I don't quite think that's how they did uh, They announced war. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Super scary. Cooper, Cooper doesn't like it. <laughs> That's terrible. War! <laughs> Get inside! I guess I'll have to like YouTube how to do it. Yeah, you gotta practice it, man. Right. Add that to the encore. That's awesome. But there's a book in there too about about the shofar and okay. all of its history and all that stuff, man. But yeah. So but keep it away from my dog. Cooper's keep it like, away. oh man, I gotta do poem. Thank you so yeah, much. Exactly. <laughs> Caleb, you got you gotta try it. Your Cooper is just going nuts. It's not a bone, buddy. I, everybody on YouTube is screaming for you to just try it. Try it. <laughs> what? That's amazing. Something like that. That's pretty good. Gosh. That's That's Something awesome. like that. Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. Luna's never seen cows. We're here at Bob's. I just want to see what she's gonna do. Look at this. If you look at this, you look at this. What in the world is this? Ah. Where is that? You don't know what to think, do you? They will stomp you. Probably playing it safe, aren't you? This is our. Uh oh, you're down. Come here, come here, <laughs> come here, Luna, Luna, come, Luna, come. <laughs> come here, come here. They're gonna stomp you. Come here. There's too many mamas out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what I was going to say, I got her back in the kennel. 
They're used to stopping coyotes here. I was gonna say, this is our bull. His name is Johnny Two. He replaced Johnny One, and he's been good. He's been good. As you can see, he has been working hard. Very hard. Good job, buddy. I'm gonna see if I can find anything over here for our house that we're building. Maybe there's some junk I could reclaim and use for something. Maybe just a flower pot, if anything. We have all these old barns. In this old house. I'll look around. I'll show you something over here. That's really cool. From an old settlement, old, uh, old Texas settlement. You can see this old building here. This is awesome because it was, we think it used to be some kind of Indian fortress because you could see the, it has these little holes for rifle to look out. So it's like a, some kind of fortress. And then there's something else over here, whatever this used to be. And there's all kinds of arrowheads everywhere in this country if you look hard enough. Just crazy to think, to imagine what this land was like 200 years ago. When you get reclaimed barn wood, I mean, this is it. Look how beautiful that is. It's really great. This is something we get here a lot at Mom's because we're kind of close to Fort Hood a little bit. Blackhawks. If that's not a picture of America. America. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Smiths. Today we're gonna to be making my favorite dessert and it's so easy. You're now, at Jazz's house for Easter. We're at Jazz's house for Easter at the ranch and we are going to make love pie. pie. So this has had many different names. It's I've heard it called better than Robert Redford cake, better than cake lots of different kinds of cakes but i switched the name to love delight i'll tell that story in just a second but we're gonna get started you want to know why i call it love delight <laughs> yeah i thought it was love pie so the reason it's called love delight is because it used to be called rudy's delight so in my family whoever made the pie it was their name well there was a divorce that happened and rudy was no longer in our family so then it was called divorce delight or maybe it was called yeah, I think it was called Divorce Delight, and I decided no more divorce. So now it's called Love Delight. But Daddy and Lincoln call it Love Pie. But it's really yummy, and it's pretty light. It's not very heavy, not many ingredients. It's super easy to make. All right, so the first layer, got it? <laughs> the first layer is gonna be flour, pecans, and butter. So here's all the ingredients that you're gonna need. Sugar, that's a measuring cup. Sugar, whipping cream, instant vanilla and chocolate jello, cream cheese, powdered sugar, pecans, butter, and we're also gonna need wait. milk. I can't wait. I can't wait to. So we need to fill that up to a whole cup. All right, so now let's do a cup of pecans. So pour a cup of the, this in there, baby. Uh, there you go, perfect. Here we go. Wanna do it with your fingers? Fingers? Sure, or you want me to do it? All right, nope, it's gonna go set this in the oven for 15 minutes. We got it all flattened out for the crust. All right, be very careful, honey. It's very hot. Don't touch the sides, switch the sides. Can I give it out too? Yes. Okay. Like with the oven? Oh, wait. <laughs> now it's all, okay. So now the second layer of love pie is going to be your cream cheese. So put the whole cream cheese in the bowl. I love this. I know you do. And then we're gonna mix that with, oh, I need to make the whipped cream first. Let's do that. So actually let's pour this in there first. All of it, and we'll we'll whip it into homemade whipped cream. Sometimes you can use Cool Whip if you want, but I like to make homemade whipped it? cream. All of it. This is gonna be good. And then we'll whip that into whipped cream. We'll mix in some sugar and some vanilla, and you can just do it to taste. I don't really measure; I just do it to taste. Some people like it sweeter. Some people like it not as sweet. So you can find a recipe for homemade whipped cream on Google, but I am just going to do it by eyeball. So just pour a little bit in there, a little bit of sugar. It's kind of stuck, huh? Let's do this of vanilla. And then we'll whip it good. Yummy. About that much. Alright, lemon's got us whipping. We're just gonna whip it into what? 
Soft peaks, hard peaks, stiff peaks, soft peaks. Okay, you taste it. Let me know if it needs more sugar or more. Gosh, uh, somebody's here. Who's here? Tell me if it needs more sugar or more sugar. Is it not sweet enough yet? Okay, so mm -hmm. I'll, I'll whip in some more. Let me taste it first before you. Okay, a little bit more, you're right. <laughs> okay, she's already licking the bowl. Okay, so I have taken half of that whipped cream mixture, separated this, this is gonna be your top layer. So in this other half of this bowl, we're gonna add in the cream cheese. You'll love, you'll love this if you make it. Okay, nobody wants to see your tongue. What? <laughs> Next, we're gonna add in our cream cheese to that, the rest of the whipped cream. Get that in there. This. And then we're gonna add in a cup of the powdered sugar and then mix all that together. That will be our middle layer. I'm not good at that. Yes, you are. Now that the bottom layer has cooled, we're gonna add our cream cheese and whipped cream mixture on top of that. You can help me? Don't okay. worry, we washed this even though Yes, we did. So wait, let go. We're gonna pour this on top of that. I'll show you. Yeah, we're gonna pour it in there just like that. Hold it. Okay. No, I wanna scrape it. Okay, then I'll hold it. <laughs> Next, we get to do our pudding layer. <gasps> so, our pudding layer is just these two puddings that I'm gonna show. The two so instant puddings. So, we have puddings. a chocolate pudding. And we have a chocolate fudge, yes. artificial flavor, <laughs> and then a vanilla, and they're both, artificial flavor. They're both instant. Don't make the mistake of getting the wrong one like I did one time. You need the instant. So this, and then we're gonna mix both of these powders with like, three cups of milk. So, so don't eat the cocoa, because it's gross. Okay. Just kidding, it's amazing, you should just... I ate it all. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, so we're going to tell this is the cocoa, the jello cocoa, jello cocoa. <laughs> Pour it in, sister. And we gotta go lightly, not, no, lightly. The boys are fishing down there at the pond. As you can see, this white and this black, dark, black brown. And we have just gotta lightly dump it on top. Lightly, or you don't get love pie, you get angry pie. You don't want angry pie. You get you want love pie. So you gotta put it lightly. Okay. Two. We're gonna add three cups of milk. There's two. Oh, excuse me, okay. ma'am. One more. You gotta lightly pour the milk lightly, or again, you will have angry pie, not love. Pie. Cause you're making it with lots of love right now. Yeah. Whip that up for two minutes, two and minutes. that is our that is our next layer. All right. Next layer is the pudding. We're just gonna layer that on top. Let me help you. Yeah. It's really kind of hard to do with one hand, holding this bowl with one hand. <laughs> and we'll smooth that out, and then we'll put the whipped cream on top, and that is it, guys. It's so easy. So we're just smoothing out that pudding layer, and then we're gonna add the whipped cream on top. And then you can put nuts on top. I like to do shaved chocolate, so I'll just take a little piece of like Hershey's chocolate bar and shave it on top. And that's it, put it in the fridge. So good, so easy. There's like, what's there, four layers. So let me go through it again. Bottom layer, butter, pecans, flour, second layer, uh, mm. <laughs> cream cheese, powdered sugar, and your homemade whipped cream. Third layer, vanilla and chocolate instant pudding mixed with three cups of milk. Top layer, mm. the rest of your whipped cream, so easy. And that is your love delight, guys. Okay, let me just wash the spoon and we'll put the whipped cream on top. Love delight. I know, Lincoln says love pie too. <laughs> and always let your kids lick the spoon. One of those things that I take to every holiday. It's usually a big hit with everybody. Okay, so I can't find a chocolate bar, so I'm just gonna use little Reese's. You can put anything you want. You can shave anything you want on top. You could do Kit Kats, you could do Heath bars. Anyway, just do little shavings. Ooh, this is gonna give it a little bit of a peanut butter taste this time that we haven't ever had oh, before. No. Oh, come on. You gotta love peanut butter. No, no, I'm just doing the chocolate, really. Love pie is complete. No, it's not. She wants to add a little bit more shavings. It's not complete but without one day. Without you shaving some on there? Nope, and you got a lot. That's your finished product. You can't be bored. I'm not bored, I'm never bored with you. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, my little chef, my little baker. Um, your love pie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> is it 
everything you hope. Bye bye. Finished. So delicious. Happy Easter, everybody. Thank you for watching. Oh, I found it. Oh my goodness. What? Oh. Oh, 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 I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. You guys haven't even started yet. Okay. One, go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll have the golden one for you. Oh, that was sweet, Link. What you doing? What you doing? Was he in the blue bonnet? I yelled snake, so I ran. No, he was over there in the grass. Wow. Here, here, here. You guys really went after the uh, pitchfork here. <laughs> Where was it? Oh. Wow, good shot, guys. I think that's a, um, a yellow ribbon snake. Are they poisonous, right? I don't think so, but they no, look scary. No, they're not poisonous. Oh, we thought he was. But, you guys, I'm proud of you guys yeah. for being cautious. Good job, girls. And Lincoln. Lincoln. Good job, Link. Supplies. Lincoln got the supplies. You ran and got the pitchfork? Yeah. What's up, Smith Dam? It's a beautiful, well, kind of dreary, but still beautiful Monday morning. We are heading over to meet our shutter guy to see if we're going to do shutters or blinds or window, whatever window treatments we're going to put in the house. So we also wanted to give you an update on some of the things that have been completed in the house. So I will take you inside and show you a little bit. All right. So this is our bathroom. Tile. We did kind of a herringbone and a light gray. I'm trying to see what it's called. SS Core Light Gray. And then our bathroom master shower. And then the bottom. Let's see. And then our we have a, um, a clawfoot tub that's going to go here. Our vanities here and here. And we're going to take the shiplap all the way up to the ceiling on that. And then we took this into the closet because um, that is a, a door outside. So let's see, I don't even know if I've showed you all my closet. So we had this built for all my shoes. I got this rack for like shorts and stuff, which I've never had before, which I thought was cool. I'm gonna get um, a dresser, a little dresser drawers to put in here and then hanging dresses and shirts. And then we have this over here for Granger and then over here for Granger too. Let's go see what else we got. Still working on our beams. Take you to see the kids' bathrooms. I'll show you London's shower. I love her shower. So I love this tile that I got for the kids' bathrooms. Both, um, all the kiddos have this tile. And then I loved her. I love her shower with the herringbone pattern. And then we still haven't grouted it yet, so we'll have the white grout in there air cabinets. This is going to be a charcoal top and then I've got them a big wood mirror to go here too. I don't know if I've shown you guys my office yet. So this is my office where I will be doing stuff. I love these drawers. I love the detail of them. And then I'm going to do one of the wall blush wallpapers here and then we did the shiplap all the way up too. And then this will be wood floors. So that's kind of a view of my office. Laundry room, I loved this tile, this rustic look of this tile. It's called Havana Sugar Cake. I guess those are kind of all the updates for now. Fireplace is done. We ended up deciding to do shiplap all the way up both walls. You'll see this behind me here. We decided to do shiplap all the way up. And then behind me here, this is changing. This is not what I wanted. Um, shiplap all the way up here. And then we're gonna do the ceiling, all barn wood and beams. So that is gonna be coming soon too. So I'm excited about that. Another thing we did is these, uh, this little paneling across the windows, just rustic barn wood. I just wanted some more rustic barn wood in here. Can never have enough. I think that's all of our updates for now. They're just doing tile. We had AC delivered today. What else, what else? Countertops are coming soon. I think they come Friday, I'm excited about that. Now I'm just measuring for like mirrors and dressers and things like that. So it's getting exciting, you guys. All right, I wanted to finish this video showing you guys update on the house. I haven't shown you in a little bit. Something really, really cool happened today in my studio. 
Ah, wow. This is cool. Check this out. The beams from my studio are in. Look at that. It looks like this house was made in 1785, doesn't it? Once again, these are the beams from Warsaw, Indiana, from the barn. And they are super cool. Super cool. So they're sitting right here on the frame of the house. Once again, they cut into the sheetrock, set it in here, and then bolted it. In fact, it was pretty interesting. I thought, I didn't know how they were gonna lift it, but they, oh, I'll show you right here. So you cut it, you cut the first one with the skill and then you go back with the Sawzall and cut it. And your hand is just that steady? <laughs> Everybody laughs at First time that's been cut in 150 years. Now you would think they would have some kind of scaffolding or new chains or hoist or pulleys. Nah, just muscle. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. That's really cool. Wow. So, so many cool things happening, and I want to kind of take you guys because it's not happening all at once. I can't just do one video like I used to building our house. So I'm dividing it up on the Smiths and giving you little pieces of it as we go. Now all the really fun stuff starts happening like tomorrow, all the lighting and electrical fixtures will come in. I have some matching barn wood that's gonna go in my vocal room. This is my vocal room where I'm gonna do my singing right here. So I'll, I'll sound insulate this room. And then this will be the main room of the studio. And then this shiplap will go all the way up. So I know Amber's been giving you some updates. I've been giving you some updates. So excited to take you on this journey and show you more and more as it happens. Will you stay tuned? Will you be with me? Will you subscribe to this channel? A lot of you are, I appreciate that. This video is free. We make it for, for you to watch for free, but it costs us money to make it. So all we ask is subscribe and send it to a friend. You guys are doing great at that. Comment below if you have a suggestion on this house, maybe something we should do differently. Let me know. We'll see you next episode. Yee yee.